kids at McFarland Park are patriotic. They wave their flags with pride and are proud of our veterans, especially Donovan Blake, the husband of kindergarten teacher Nicole Blake. In an instant, in an instant, your whole life has changed. The Blake's life changed right after this photo was taken. A car crash meant the Navy veteran would be paralyzed from the waist down. While her husband goes through rehab, Nicole continues to come to school. I still wake up, I come to McFarland um, because I want to be here. I want to be with the kids. I want to see their shining faces. And every day they ask me, all children ask me, How's Mr. Blake doing? Concerned kids like Jake Bonatti are the reason that this Veterans Day ceremony is so special. Today, this German Shepherd, Max McFarlane, came to see the students that named him, and soon he'll be heading home with the Blakes. His mouth will be Mr. Blake's hands, and to give him not only uh, the ability to be uh, a little bit more mobile, but also for the companionship, to just to be by his side and the warmth of of that and the spirit of that. Before Max became a service dog, a number of paths would first have to cross. First five-year-old Jake, along with his family, would have to find Max. A long time ago when we saw this dog, I thought about Miss Blake and her husband, and then I thought about her son that was paralyzed, and I just wanted to give this dog to them. Then Jake's mom would have to find trainer Clark Ingram. Terry called me and said she had found her and Jake had found this dog out in their neighborhood and uh, would I help her? And I said, of course I will. Ingram has trained hundreds of dogs and helped place many with veterans. He says this placement, though, is just perfect. It's God sent. I mean, it's just those, those things that, you know, we pray for and um, through through actual it actually happening. It's it's. You know, those are one of those blessings. They have really made an intolerable situation a little bit more tolerable for me. Max is expected to be home with the Blakes in time for Christmas. Reporting in Tampa, Ellen McNamara, ABC Action News.